built this tent Steps so light, I barely touch the ground Everybody wants to know how Brick by brick, I put them in the ground Walk, walk like I built, walk, walk, walk like I built this I do it for my people, family business Yeah it has been from highs to lows and everything in between welcome to the recap video for week number three already so 21 days into it i am recording this on saturday you guys are watching this on monday the reason i'm recording on saturday is because sunday is easter obviously would not have time to record this and get it up for you on monday so being proactive getting it done on saturday and as you guys saw in previous videos, the Wi-Fi at home is not that great, so it takes a long time, so just trying to get ahead. So the numbers that I'm going to be giving you guys today is only going to be from Sunday to Friday, because obviously today is Saturday, and I only have Sunday through Friday. It's going to be six days total, so let's run through the week so far. If you guys have been following every single episode, you know that the lows I'm talking about is the few mornings that I woke up feeling very bloated, not hungry at all, just sleep was not there at all, and maybe like three, four hours of sleep for like two, three days in a row, unfortunately. And when that happens, I tend to wake up feeling not hungry at all, bloated and just, you know, sluggish, just not there. So I didn't weigh myself maybe two days because I knew it'd be higher. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about the number. I know what it probably is. I don't want to stress out about that. We'll just, you know, stay on track. And that's what I did. Finish out the week. Today was Saturday, so finished out the week weighing in at 156 pounds. So I said before I wanted to be in like the 155s, but given everything that happened this week, I'll take 156. I weighed in at 156 for two days in a row. Hopefully that is consistent. You know, not feeling too bloated at all, which is nice. Feeling hungry at the end of this week, which was good as well. If I can stay around 156 and get to 155 next week, that is the ultimate goal. But again, a lot of things are taken into consideration. And I know that's going to be a slow process. I didn't think it would be this slow, but this is the beginning. So hopefully I can just get on track and continue to see progress each and every week. So just going to run over my averages really quick. And again, you guys know how I do this. Just tally everything up from Sunday to Friday and then take the average of the six days. So average weight was about 156 and a half pounds, and last week's average was 156.4. So really just kind of no change between week two and week three, unfortunately. For average calories was 2,042 calories. Average protein was 174 grams. Carbs was 247, and fat sitting at 44 grams. So not a total difference between week three and week two, to be honest, which is fine because I'm still seeing, I saw progress at the end of the week and I'm happy about that. Cardio stayed the same, four sessions at 200 calories, anything from the Stairmaster to the Tread Climber, and that felt good. I'm still going to keep that consistent in week four as well because I think that is working for me. I'm trying to get cardio done earlier on in the week so I don't have to leave it for the weekend and that has been successful especially for this week while I'm home visiting with family and Easter and everything you know that's cardio should be your least of your worries when you're in a situation like that. You might notice that my calories and my macros increased throughout the week. You're probably wondering why is that. Well I was finishing my macros probably around like 7 30 8 o'clock like Sunday through Tuesday, Wednesday, which is very early. And then so that whole night, you know, I'm still up working, editing videos, and I get hungry by the time that I have to go to bed. Didn't eat anything. And then I woke up the next morning still kind of feeling bloated those days. Now, I don't know if it was because of the lack of sleep or, or just, you know, not eating for so long and that's just how my body reacts. It's something that I'm kind of learning along the way. So I did up my calories a little bit so I could push my last meal a little bit later in the night and I actually found that that worked. So my macros for the end of the week, kind of Wednesday through Friday and even today, have been aiming for 175 grams of protein, 255 carb, around 55 fat. Fat has been a little bit harder to reach at 55 grams, so I need to do a better job of that. But I have noticed that that works. I feel better throughout the day. You know, it's not that much of a calorie increase. We're talking maybe 150 calories about, not even. So I feel better with that, and I've been able to hit 156 pounds for two days in a row. So overall, I think that is progress. Well, we'll see how it all goes. I do have Easter tomorrow, which is probably going to be a refi day. We'll see. I'm not totally sure about that. So obviously, you guys already saw my Easter video. Video, and right now it's Saturday so I'm not sure if that video is going to be a refeed day or just keep my macros the same 
but obviously you guys have already seen that video so you kind of already know what happened with that but I still don't know because it's Saturday kind of the cool thing about YouTube and editing and when you record a video and then when you post it but that's kind of gonna do it for week three progress yes or no I would say progress in the beginning of a week no progress you know Thursday Friday and Saturday yes just weight wise increased macros just a little bit but still saw progress so I'm happy about that and even this week was kind of crazy you know I had a rest day in the middle of the week on Thursday kind of unplanned but you just roll with the punches that you get adapt to the changes and you make things work don't stress out if you know you have every single hour of your day mapped out and something throws it off just a little bit just learn that things are going to happen like that it's good to have a plan and a plan of action and know what you're going to do but understand that things do happen and you just kind of have to go with it and sometimes it's good you know sometimes good things are going to happen and change up your schedule so that's just what happened with me this week you know this is very slow very slow so i wouldn't recommend taking this slow if you're like going for a show or you have a deadline like i've said in every video I don't have a deadline and this is a more difficult cut than my previous cuts so just taking it slow and steady learning my body and i'm excited for that and each week i get to see it differently so for week four keeping the cardio sessions at four sessions 200 calories that's going to stay consistent for as long as it needs macros are going to stay as high as they were at the end of this week. So 175 grams of protein, 255 carb, and about 55 fat. I'm gonna try to keep it at that as much as possible. And it's better because I wanna be able to eat as much as I can during this cut, but still see results. And I think that's what my body is starting to get used to. So that is the plan. Hopefully that made sense to you guys and hopefully it's good to see you know everything that I write down on the notes and keep the averages going. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this recap video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I do love hearing what you guys have to say and any advice. And also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I stay very active on that as well, especially Snapchat, which I changed to Gina underscore Mariana. So check that out. Always post every day. But thank you guys again for clicking on the video. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. That's going to do it for the recap of week three. Going on to week four, hopefully see more progress. Goal is to be in the 155s, so we're going to stick to that as much as possible. So thank you again, and as always... Have a great day.